Hey guys, in this video, going to be doing a bit of a discussion here on exactly what Pokemon Unite is, what a match will entail as you play your way through and try to pick up the victory. Now, I'm very interested in this MOBA-style Pokemon game because I really like Pokemon, and I used to play a lot of League of Legends back in the day, and there's a lot of takeaways from different map types that we used to have in League of Legends that I see in this Pokemon Unite map. So you start off, you enter a game, it's five on five, you pick which Pokemon that you want to play, as. Now, we don't know if you can have the same Pokemon on the same team. I would guess probably not, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was mirror matchups, so the other team might be able to have the same Pokemon. That's on your team. We don't know that at this point in time, but these are the confirmed characters early on at this point where we have Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Pikachu, Clefable, Machamp, Gengar, Snorlax, Lucario, as well as Talonflame. And what's kind of interesting here, I'm not exactly sure if Pikachu is going to evolve. Let's say, for instance, you picked Charizard. You'd start off as Charmander, and then as you gain experience, you would evolve as you leveled up. I don't think necessarily that Pikachu would probably evolve into Raichu, given the fact that we only see Pikachu here on the selection screen. Or Snorlax, for instance, you're probably going to be starting the game as Snorlax, and then you wouldn't evolve in that instance. Just some interesting tidbits there. And then also, as you level up throughout playing the game, you'll be able to choose which moves that you want to select. And based on the enemy composition or the Pokemon that you're going against, there might be better attacks based on the situations that you find your yourself in and these are going to be timed matches based on the gameplay that we've seen thus far it seems like there's a set amount of time and whichever team has the most points at the end of the match is declared the victor so going in here you have your five on five and the map kind of looks like twisted tree line from the old league of legends days with some dominion characteristics in terms of dropping off the pokemon you catch at your enemies bases that's kind of like in some instances, what we had in the map type of Dominion way back in the day in League of Legends, if any of you out there have played that. But you have a top lane, a bot lane, and an area in the middle that looks like the jungle. And basically catching the Pokemon is kind of like slaying minions in League of Legends. So as you head into the game, you're going to start at level 1, and it's going to depend on which Pokemon that you pick who you're going to be starting off as. So if you select Charizard, you start off as Charmander. And then as you gain levels, you'll evolve along the way and pick different attacks and things as well. You see that he has zero right here next to his health bar. These are where you're going to catch Pokemon and this number will start increasing. So you can see here, this Charmander is attacking a Pokemon once its health reaches zero, then he catches it. You can see this little blue area is now up to three. He gains experience when that wild Pokemon has been caught. So it's pretty much like slaying minions in League of Legends where you gain experience and you pick up gold. But in this instance, you're just going to be catching the Pokemon that you drop off at an enemy's base. So now we go and we can see that this Charmander, this base, you have to stay there for a bit. And as you're depositing these wild Pokemon that you caught in the enemy's base, they can interrupt you during this instance. So if you have the enemy in your base trying to drop off Pokemon that they caught, then you want to go and attack them to try to prevent this because you don't want their score to increase. It looks like you're also going to be able to gain experience when you're dropping off Pokemon in your enemy's base, but as you work your way through the game and level up, you're going to evolve throughout this process, and you can pick attacks along the way. There's different kinds of attacks that are going to have benefit i would assume against the types of opponent that you're going against there's long range attacks that you can choose there's close range attacks and there's also going to be unique moves to the pokemon unite game which is kind of cool the unite move is kind of like an ultimate that you get with a longer cooldown than your more basic attacks and it will deal out a lot of damage and have different abilities so really intrigued by the capabilities that these unite moves are going to have now, I kind of get the feeling that if you have a pre-made five versus five random people, you're going to have a massive advantage and probably just steamroll over them. I hope they implement a matchmaking system where people that are playing with friends are matched against other people that are playing in groups to kind of get a more balance and maybe a ranking system to get people that are on a similar playing level, playing field to go against each other so you don't get stomps one way or the other. But like I was saying earlier, these matches are timed, and as you deposit Pokemon into your enemy's base, 
you're going to gain points by doing this. And we know that towards the end of the game, I believe it's the last two minutes, you get double the points for scoring. So that can kind of cause a rubber band type of effect where maybe a team can come back if they're down by a decent amount of points or allow one team to just put the game out of reach and win it in a blowout scenario. So it's different than League of Legends in the fact that you're not destroying the enemy's base necessarily from what I gather out of what we've seen. It's more you're just trying to gain points and you do this by catching Pokemon and dropping them off in your opponent's base areas. They try to prevent you from doing this and you can attack your opponents to try to prevent this. I think it could be a pretty interesting MOBA style game and I hope that they have a bunch of different Pokemon to choose from more than just the 10 that we see uh, thus far or else things could get kind of boring relatively quickly if there's not a bunch of different champs that you can choose from. Also, it says free to start Start. So maybe it's kind of a situation where maybe they start you off with one champion and then as you play games you earn credits to unlock other characters and I'm sure they'll have a bunch of different monetization things in it given the fact that it's made by Tencent or a company that Tencent owns. I'm sure there's going to be things like skins, um, probably shiny versions of these Pokemon, you'll be able to buy that skin, or maybe it's just going to be kind of like Super Smash Brothers, where a Charizard, for instance, a playable character in Super Smash, you can pick different colors to play as a Charizard, not even necessarily uh, just his shiny version, so maybe that'll be something else that they implement. They could do a lot of different things with skins as well, like, you know, Pikachu having a party hat on, or, you know, just random things such as that that I'm sure they'll implement, and I hope it's more of a pay to look good as opposed to pay to win if they don't get the monetization done properly then this game could fail pretty quickly so i hope that they really think things through and put something into place that people are comfortable with now i wouldn't mind a situation like you have in league of legends where you know you have a free champion rotation you can purchase some champions for a cheaper amount of currency um, but then you can also buy them with points with real money or you can just gain points as you win matches or even lose matches. And as you work your way through playing a lot of hours of the game, you just accumulate a currency that you can use to buy the different Pokemon. I really hope that they implement a system kind of like what we have over in League of Legends in terms of the monetization aspect. But those are my initial thoughts on this Pokemon Unite game, which I'm actually pretty interested and intrigued in. Definitely going to be giving it a try and think this game has at least some possibility of being really fun. So thanks guys for stopping by for this video. I appreciate you watching. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.